guys, uh, Paul here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a shave, uh, 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 comparing the uh, Cobra Classic to, to the Mongoose. Um, I, I was a little bit reluctant to do this uh, comparison because um, um, I was uh, one of the uh, testers on the Mongoose and uh, um, so I, I'm a little bit uh, biased uh, in, in that regard because uh, you know of my involvement with the uh, with the mongoose razor, um, so uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna really uh, say which is better or which is which I which is worse, um, because uh, really uh, uh, I I think my opinion uh, on that is is uh, probably somewhat biased. But I will kind of point out the differences between the two, and I'm gonna shave with uh, both of them, and I'll point out some of the advantages and, and uh, disadvantages of uh, both of them. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> we'll uh, 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 go from there. This, uh, this was requested by one of my viewers, uh, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it, um, but uh, with a little bit of reluctance. But uh, anyways, um, so today the razors that we're going to be comparing are the uh, uh, Mongoose. This is the uh, uh, Mongoose uh, on the uh, Dub Slim uh, handle. Um, and uh, it has a feather professional blade, a brand new feather professional blade. Uh, as many of you guys know, the uh, Mongoose is a razor that uses the Feather Arts Club uh, style blades. Um, it will also use the uh, Kai blades as well that are basically the same design as these feather blades. It's a three-piece design, so the handle screws off and then the head is in, uh, is in two pieces. So you've got your, uh, your base plate and your top cap and the blade sits on two uh, blade pins there. The cap just uh, basically um, pops into place uh, into two little recesses on the base plate and then you screw your handle on. The uh, screw is a, a universal size screw and you can use uh, pretty much almost uh, uh, every uh, razor handle uh, that is made for a three-piece razor on this razor. I've tried uh, you know, a bunch of different ones they all work uh, great. So <clears throat> if you don't like this particular handle uh, or you want uh, something that has a little knurling or a little shorter or whatever, you can put on your favorite uh, custom handle or your favorite razor handle on uh, any of your other razors on there. And that's uh, really kind of a neat uh, design feature of this. Uh, because the blade is clamped into place, the blade is uh, rigid. There's no play in the blade at all. Um, this is uh, a razor that does not feel overly aggressive. Um, and uh, but it does give a effortless smooth shave and it's just a great shave and razor and uh, this one is in the polished stainless steel um, it's quite heavy um, and uh, it uh, it's really uh, uh, well uh, put together and it's just a solid uh, razor and uh, uh, this uh, is uh, retails for $149 in the United States here uh, and that's shipped um, and it's uh, you know for what you get it's really a, a pretty good deal the other razor I'm going to be using is the uh, Cobra Classic. Um, I'm sure all you guys have seen this razor. Uh, uh, this was my uh, first, uh, you know, razor of this type that uh, um, uses the Feather uh, Artist Club blade. And uh, I am a huge fan of this razor. I love this razor. Shaves great for me. Um, obviously, uh, there is no handle options. You, with this razor, the handle is what the handle is. Uh, either you like it or you don't. Some people don't like the profile of this handle. For me, it, it's always felt comfortable. Uh, the head design um, yeah, uses a um, little, uh, basically, a, oops, a little uh, um, uh, trapdoor kind of mechanism that the blade uh, sits on some blade stops in there. That pushes up and then it's held into place by this uh, little... Uh, uh, clamp kind of deal that's uh, spring loaded inside. Um, so basically, with this one, you just load your blade onto the little blade holder. Try to get it up there, and then you basically just push that up, clamp it into place. Um, this blade is not held as rigid, there is some play in the blade holder back and forth. Um, and um, I have I have definitely seen a, a post on one of the Facebook groups of a guy who whose uh, uh, blade holder mechanism broke off. So um, it's a very nice looking razor. This is a, a cast metal um, and it's a chrome plated. Um, and there are 
uh, because of the design of this uh, underbelly that has this sort of snake belly appearance, uh, there are some uh, flaws in the plating. <clears throat> it's just inherent with this razor. It doesn't affect the shave in any way. I've never been particularly bothered by that, but a lot of guys are bothered by that given uh, the cost of this razor, uh, which um, I, th I heard is, is around uh, $200. I, I, don't, I don't think that's, I, I think I paid less than that because I've got, got this, this a couple years ago. Uh, so, um, and uh, certainly the new Cobra, the King Cobra, it does have a handle that screws on, but I've heard that the, the uh, screw uh, that it, it holds on to is a pr pr proprietary size and you can't use any razor handle on that. You have to have a special handle that fits the, uh, the screw for it. Um, and that razor retails for $250, $100 more than the Mongoose. And uh, the head design is <clears throat> pretty much the same. Um, I think there may have been some improvements in it. Um, I, I haven't shaved with that razor, so I can't really comment on it. Just seen pictures of it and read what people have posted about it. Looks like a nice razor. Um, but uh, um, since I already have this, I, I'm, I can't see spending that money uh, getting the King Cobra. I, I'm perfectly happy with this. So I'm going to compare uh, the Cobra Classic to the Mongoose. And uh, today I'm going to be using uh, the uh, Barrister and Man uh, Adagio Soap. Um, this was one of the Barrister and Man summer soaps, and uh, it's a great scent. I think I did use this in one of my other videos. Um, it smells like um, like a cherry lime soda to me. It's really great, refreshing, has a tiny bit of lime, and as you can see, I've been using quite a bit of this. Uh, I'm down, I'm starting to get down to the uh, bottom of it. I've got the uh, ring of death there, as you can see. Um, and uh, I'm just gonna uh, use this today. I really love the soap and uh, um, I've, I've been using it quite a bit and I'm gonna pretty much uh, Titanic this here over the next uh, uh, couple of weeks and, uh, and then move on to something else. So anyways guys, uh, we're gonna get started. For my brush, I'm gonna be using uh, my uh, custom Eagle 3 in Best Badger. Um, and uh, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and start loading the brush here on the soap. Uh, um, I have become a real big fan of the uh, Barrister and Man soap. Uh, it, for me, really works really well. Um, I love the lather that I get with this, um, and the scents are really pretty, pretty awesome. Um, Will, William, the uh, soap maker, has, a, um, has some really, really intriguing scents, which I uh, really enjoy. Uh, and uh, the performance of the soap is just top, top notch. This one is the tallow uh, version. He does have a vegan version called Tracita. Um, but this one is the, uh, is the tallow version, so. All right, get a good loading on the brush. And I'm uh, just gonna wet my face here and we'll get started. I absolutely love the uh, Eagle 3 style handle. I find this handle to be really comfortable for face lathering. Um, the knot in this brush, uh, again, reminds me very much of the uh, Duke 3 knot. It's basically the same size and uh, feels very, very similar on the face. So I'm gonna get a little more soap off the puck there. We'll use up that, what we made up there. Okay, let's turn the water on here a little bit, and we'll add a little bit of water to the soap as we go. Kind of build our lather up. So this Barrister Man soap really lathers quite easily. It does uh, like quite a bit of water, and uh, so it's hard to overshoot with the water on this soap. Um, it's pretty forgiving uh, as far as adding water goes. Um,
All right, so that looks pretty good. Go ahead and just paint this, kind of thin it out a little bit, paint it on there. And then we'll set our brush down. Work the hands off. Get the soap off my ear. Okay, I'm just going to dry my hands off real good. And I'm going to go ahead and shave the uh, right side of my face with the mongoose and the left side with the um, cobra. So here we go. One thing I like about this mongoose razor is that it just it feels real solid in the hand. Uh, and the, the um, feel on your face, it just, uh, it feels uh, very comfortable to use. Um, and uh, when you're done with your shave, your face just feels really nice and smooth. Um, but without that, overly aggressive uh, feel uh, of, of, of the razor. You don't feel it at any point like you're, you're having to, um, you know, be super careful that you're not going to um, cut yourself. Um, you know, I, I've not really had any problem with nicks or weepers with the razor. It just is very comfortable to use and just for me gives just an absolutely wonderfully comfortable shave. Uh, the Cobra Classic uh, is sort of the same way. Um, the blade is, does not feel quite as, uh, the razor does not feel quite as smooth, but it's still pretty darn smooth. And the shaves that I get with the Cobra Classic are really outstanding, so. Um, I think one thing too about the Cobra is that because the head's a little narrow, it might be easier to get under your nose there uh, in, in tight spaces, uh, perhaps a little easier than the mongoose. However, the head on this is really, you know, not much wider than a, a, a DE razor. So, uh, you know, I mean, guys shave under their nose with no, the DE razor without any problems. So, and I really haven't heard people complaining that it's particularly hard together to the nose, but uh, I can see how it might be a little bit, uh, a little, take a little bit more practice than the, uh, than the Cobra. So. Okay, I'll go ahead and do pass number three here. When I first got my Cobra, I was a little bit worried that, you know, it might be difficult to get a, or it might feel a little awkward with the having that really wide blade. But really never had any problem with this at all. I mean, right from the get-go, it felt very comfortable and intuitive. And uh, kind of was the same way with the uh, Mongoose. Let me throw a little touch up here on my neck.
Okay. There we go. I'm just going to wash my face off here. Give it a feel. But uh, both sides, you know, feels very uh, cl clean. Very comfortable on both sides. Both these razors are just outstanding uh, razors as far as the quality of shade that you can get with them. Uh, they both just give an awesome shade. And, uh, um, you know, I think part of that is just due to that, being able to use that, that Feather Artist Club blade. It's really an outstanding blade. It really gives good shave, uh, a good shave. Um, so both sides feel nice and uh, clean, uh, sm com smooth, comfortable. Um, no irritation on either side. Um, the Cobra, um, I think what its advantage is it does have a little bit thinner profile head, which may be a little bit easier to maneuver around. Uh, however, uh, when you know, with any razor, once you kind of get used to it, um, you won't you'll, you'll feel comfortable with it. But uh, maybe right out of the box, that Cobra may feel a little uh, more comfortable, you know, shaving in tight spots. Um, so, um, for my aftershave today, I'm going to use a, a vintage uh, uh, high karate. This is the iced high karate vintage aftershave. Uh, really smells good. Um, it doesn't quite smell like the actual original high karate, but it, it does have a nice smell to it. And it's, what I like about it is it's got a nice little menthol, menthol tingle to it. Now, as far as the mongoose razor goes, uh, you have a little bit more versatility with that razor because you can change your handles if you, you know, if you don't like the uh, the uh, the dub handle, uh, or you may feel like using a smaller handle, or you want one with more knurling or more grip. You have a lot of handle options. Uh, I also think the mongoose feels to me to be a little bit smoother because I think the blade is clamped in there a lot more securely and there's no play in the blade whatsoever so there's no skipping of the blade across your face or anything like that it really uh, holds it in there tight and gives a nice comfortable shave they both feel great on the face uh, that just to me the mongoose feels a little bit smoother so anyways guys those are my thoughts on those two razors i hope you enjoyed that have a great weekend and i will see you soon bye